Hey guys, I am finally back in Ohio. Literally, I always have to cough the moment I start filming. It's like a nervous complex kind of thing. All right, dude, I have some sweet news for you guys today. So excited for this, yes! I've been sitting on this decision for probably two months now. And then I told myself, you know what, Miranda? You really just have to do this. You have to bite the bullet and commit. And what I'm talking about is a little art tall. If you watch my channel, you probably know I love gouache and watercolor paints. It's kind of my thing. So I follow a lot of Instagrammers who paint food and florals because those are the two things that I'm like super into. And I really like little whimsical creatures, anything that incorporates nature. And I notice a lot of the Instagrammers I follow use the same kind of watercolors. And they have different palettes for like different kinds of things you want to paint. It's really cute. It's kind of like makeup palettes. So this one is just skin complexions. This one is called Essence and it's like woodsy kind of tones. You know, if you're like out in the woods, you want to paint that kind of like trees. This is a tropical palette. And this one here, super cute. It's called Pastel Dreams. I have a couple other ones coming in the mail, but I couldn't wait to use these. So I'm making a video now. You'll just see the other ones later. This is not sponsored. I literally dropped $136 on a bunch of watercolor and paper. All right, I also tweeted, what's a good watercolor paper brand? Because I really like Arteza and Arches, but I wanted to try something with a little more texture. Everybody told me to try B watercolor paper. And I've tried like Strathmore and stuff like that before too, but I was looking to try something like different that I've never really heard of. So this B paper kind of stood out to me. Came with 50 sheets. As I said though, this is not sponsored, but if y'all want to sponsor me, I'm your girl, hit me up. So yeah, I have a couple other ones coming in the mail, but they are so cute guys. Like, oh, oh, okay. Let me just open one and show you because I opened one off camera because I was so excited when this came in the mail, because I've been like dying to open. I've been dying to use these things. By the way, I'll link them down below um, if you want to check them out. They're really like not super expensive. It's like, I don't know, 20 bucks a palette, give or take. The palettes are so tiny and you get like a little swatch card and then there's all the names and it just makes me want to eat a bunch of candy. You know, does it make you wanna make bad decisions and eat a lot of candy and cute stuff? I'm gonna open them all and show you little closies. Oh my goodness, the names. <laughs> Dude, the names on these are so cute. Oh, look at this. As I said, they are designed for like on the go. So there's this little ring at the bottom and you can like string your finger through it and hold it like a little palette. This is so cute. I don't know how you would actually do it though. All right. Talking in a soothing tone now, so you pay attention and zone out and eventually fall asleep. Just kidding, this is the Essence palette. Look how cute that is, and the names are so cute, like emotion, chant, unite, creation, serenity. And then this one here, also super cute. I just love the names, and as I said, this just make me want to make bad decisions and eat a lot of candy, but this is a tropical palette. Everything in it is so cute, and I really like that they give you a swatch card so you can like do different values and stuff in their corresponding squares. And then here we have, oh look, some of them have repeat colors. Look at this, coconut. And then you come over here to the complexion palette, coconut. Oh, I don't know how I feel about repeats. All right, there aren't like tons of repeats, but there are some which kind of irritates me, but whatever. This is the complexion palette though, and I really like how it's a lot of skin tones. I think this will help me with painting people, but honestly, I haven't painted people since February. <laughs> and this one here is the Pastel Dreams palette. Look at how cute these colors are. Oh, look at that sea dream color. Oh, it gives me life. It is so beautiful. <gasps> look at this lemonade color. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think the repeat colors will bother me too much because I'm probably only gonna take like one or two palettes with me on the go at a time. I'm just really thrilled that they're like built into different themes for you and they make it like super cute. I know you could like technically just build your own palette but I think these are so cute and I've been wanting to try them 
for a long time because all these Instagrammers that paint plants and everything, they rave about how highly pigmented these watercolors are. And I haven't really seen many people outside of the Instagram world use them. So I'm really excited to try them. If you've tried them, let me know down below. That will be the comment of the day. And if you've tried B watercolor paper, let me know down below too, because I had never heard of this stuff until people on Twitter recommended it to me. By the way, let me shamelessly promote myself. You should follow my Instagram and Twitter. I'll just leave the stuff over here so you can do that. And if you haven't guessed what we're gonna be doing in today's video, we're gonna go outside and fly a kite. That's right, folks. We're gonna be doing some watercolor. Oh my, this paper seems like really high quality. All right, just doing a little bit of swatching here. I sped it up super fast so you don't have to watch this super tedious process. Can I just say I love how pigmented these are? And they are very soft. It doesn't take a lot of water to activate them. Glorious. And this was so satisfying doing all the swatching, even though it took forever. It was fun. All right. I am really torn on which palette is my favorite because the complexion palette, it is still drying. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. It reaches to like every skin tone and I am really excited to use it. I think I might actually paint some people. I have some people in mind that I want to paint too. <laughs> the Pastel Dreams palette is also my favorite. I think they're a tie. I mean, they're both really great. So those are my two favorites and then the other two I'm also very happy with. So as I said, I'll leave links below in case you want to check these out. If you've ever seen the Jane Davenport palettes in like Michaels or something, these are very, very similar, but these appealed to me more just because a lot of artists that I look up to and follow use these. So I just felt like, well, my gut just trusted this more. A lot of Hobby Lobby stores are also carrying these, but you know what? I went to Hobby Lobby a couple times and I couldn't find them, so I don't know if they were like sold out or what. So I just went with Amazon because you don't even have to leave your house. <laughs> what kind of accent was that? I don't know, but I'm gonna indulge in my Discover Weekly playlist on Spotify and paint some flowers. I'll just let you know how I feel about these watercolors in a boy silver. What if we all talked like this? What if we had permanent frowns and we had to try to be happy? Like try to frown. like and then smile at the same time. Hideous. All right, we are actually going to put these to the test now. Let me just clarify at the beginning of painting this. I normally wouldn't drop a lot of money on an art supply. I'm pretty frugal, but I did a lot of research on these paints for months. I watched a lot of artists that I really look up to paint with them for months. And I finally decided, you know what, if I'm going to get these, I wanna go all in. About once a year, I like to upgrade one of my art supplies and I've been using the Van Gogh watercolors. So I decided, you know what, I wanna try out a bunch of different watercolors and just see how they go. So I went with this brand and I, I'm very impressed. I am glad I went with this choice. I'm glad I did tons of research, but I do want to advise you guys, if you want to try new products and, you know, see how they work and stuff and see if it's for you, I would recommend doing a lot of research, especially if you're going to go all in like I did. I think I was a little too ridiculous because I still have more stuff coming in the mail, but you know what? I don't regret my decision and I'm really happy. So yeah. And as I have told you guys in previous videos, doing art is my job, so like, this stuff will get used all the time. <laughs> I was very impressed though. These watercolors are very soft, but it's not like a soft that eats up the paint. It's a soft that kind of activates it quickly and keeps that pigment there. It's that pigment that you want, and I was so glad to find that out and discover that when I painted with these. So I decided to do some flowers. Guys, all right, look. I was looking up some flower references to use for this bad boy. Let me tell you what. Uh, pulling it up here on my phone. These flowers here are similar to peonies and they're called, okay, if I butcher this, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
They are called Ranunculus flowers. Ranunculus. 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 Whatever. They're those flowers. They look like peonies. I thought they were really pretty. This is what I'm painting. <laughs> it was really fun. Alright, so the palettes that I used are the Pastel Dreams palette and the Complexion palette. I kind of did a little bit of the complexion palettes like in the center of the flowers just to give it more of a dark value. I really liked that I could combine the palettes, but really I could just get away with it with just the Pastel Dreams palette, which I was happy with. Oh, just kidding. I used one of the dark browns and the dark greens from the Essence palette for this. You just can't see it because it's not in the view. I was very impressed with these though. I literally don't even think I have bad things to say about the paints. The paper though, I think it was a little overrated. I don't know. I mean, it's okay, but I really like Arteza and uh, Arches paper better, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'll try it out a couple more times, see how I feel. I mean, it came with like 50 pieces of paper for maybe, I don't know, 11 or 12 bucks. I guess that's not too bad. It's good quality for the price. So if you want cheap watercolor paper, but okay quality, I would say, yeah, sure, whatever. Other people seem to really rave about this watercolor though, so hey, it could work better for you. I just, I don't know how much I'm feeling it. <laughs> I really liked that the yellows were soft in this pastel palette because when I swatched them, they kind of seem really heavy right there, really bright, but I don't know. I didn't really like dilute them or anything, but when you dilute them, it, oh, it, oh, it's just so beautiful. I enjoyed it. I keep saying, I like this, I enjoyed it, but guys, I'm not even exaggerating. I, I waited for these paints to come and, huh. When I opened up the box, I realized that not all of them arrived. And I was like, you know what? I'm not waiting because I want to paint happy things today. So that's what we're doing. The blending was very nice. I was very impressed with the blending. It was very easy to blend. When stuff dried and you wanted to lay a darker colors on top of it, but not have it super blend in, you also had that aspect of control, which gave me great joy because I wanted some contrast in the center of these flowers. This kind of art just makes me so happy. You know, once you find like that thing that you enjoy, and I think it for me, I think it's like nature, food, and sometimes people, but yeah. I'm just really delighted. So yeah. Anyway, I give these a rating of like, mm, I'm a really generous rater. It's very easy to impress me. So I'm just gonna say like, I wanna say 10 out of 10, but I don't know. Maybe I'll say like 9.7 out of 10 because it takes forever to unwrap all of those little pans. I don't really think it's necessary for them to wrap them all, but hey, to each their own. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for enduring such a long video, all my rambles. This is pretty much the end of the video. As I said, if you're new here though, I would love it if you joined my art family and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I post. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. And here we are, it's done. Yay, we're done. Turned out really pretty and we're happy with these paints. Yay, win-win for everybody. Happy times, happy days. Alright, I hope you have a good happy day too. Goodbye. This is my awkward video ending now. Goodbye.